Bienvenida Jane Goodall a la Argentina. Eh, termina usted una extensa gira por América Latina. ¿Cómo ha sido recibido su mensaje de paz, de amor y de ser más conscientes con la naturaleza? I think that this um, Latin American tour has been extremely successful. It started in Cuba, went on to Colombia and then Chile, now ending up in Argentina. And everywhere the message has been really well received. I think our youth program, Roots and Chutes, has been growing. And I've met many people who are really concerned about the environment and want to do their bit to, to change things for the future. Nuestros países, especialmente Brasil y Colombia, han sufrido una gran degradación de sus bosques y de sus selvas. Eh, particularmente, ¿cuál es el mensaje que usted les transmitió en estos países? Well, my message for everywhere is to take care of the environment. And right now there's an emphasis on forests because forests are sequestering CO2 and CO2 of course is one of the greenhouse gases. All around the world tropical forests have suffered and we have to have a whole new push uh, which is why I'm going to the COP21, the climate change conference in Paris because we have to protect particularly the tropical rainforests if we're going to do something about Um, climate change. I think the time has come when we have to have a, a twin approach to climate change, but certainly one approach is what individual people can do in their daily lives. And it, I think most people do nothing because they feel helpless and hopeless, like the, pit, the, 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 the problem is so huge, you know, the polar ice is melting and climate has already, the, the, the temperature's gone up. And so what can I do? It's pointless. And, okay, switching off lights or going on public transport or walking or bicycling or something like that, so what if I do that? But if a billion people do it, then it's going to start to make a difference. And the other thing is that as the ordinary general public around the world become convinced that, yeah, we have to do something, then that's going to influence the politicians. Because at the moment, a politician, it's a career, and you want to be elected, and you want to stay in government or whatever. And so if the, if, if the people who've elected you are not going to support a tough decision for better future for our children, then you will give in. So it's really up to the people. We must support the politicians so that they can make the tough decisions. The time has come when we really have to protect our forests. And I'll be doing a number of panels with Sylvia Earle, who represents oceans in the way I represent forests. And the oceans and the forests are the two great ecosystems that sequester CO2. I'm only hopeful that so many people have understood the threat of climate change, that some binding agreements will be made, but I don't know. I can only hope. 55 años de investigaciones en Gombe, ¿qué la sigue sorprendiendo todavía? After 55 years, I think the interesting thing is we are always learning new things. And partly that's because we have new technology, so we can collect a fecal sample and analyze the DNA from that and find out who's related to who. For the first time, we know who all the fathers are. And we can look at things like the effect of stress on the hormones, These kind of things can be done just from fecal samples. And so because we help the villagers to have better lives through <clears throat> the Jane Goodall Institute's Take Care program, this means that they're now our partners. And Google Earth has donated tablets and every village, 52 villages now, uh, from each village, two forest monitors are trained and they take these tablets into the forest and they, they are able to indicate if a tree has been cut illegally. They indicate a chimpanzee nest or a leopard paw print. And 
as its GPS, all of this information can be uploaded into a platform in the clouds and people who've donated money to protect the forest can actually see, yes, not only are they protecting forests, the forest is coming back. The chimpanzees in the whole area around Gombe, around these 52 villages, they have three times more forest than they had before we began. And this, the magic is, this isn't planting trees. There's a magic in the seeds that are in the ground and give them a chance and they can become trees. Unfortunately, chimpanzees are still being killed, sometimes for the illegal bushmeat trade, also mothers being shot to steal their infants for the live animal trade and there's a lot of hard work but we are in five different African countries working with other NGOs in, in yet other countries so there is hope for the future. ¿Qué imágenes más preciosas? Hermosa, hermosa ella. O mañana va a dar una charla pública en la Academia Nacional de Medicina, 6 de la tarde, no se la pierdan. Y hoy, bueno, hoy hay una rueda con los periodistas. Así que Jane Goodall Pero en la Argentina. Primero estuvo aquí en Banda 3.0, gracias es. a Susanita Reynoso.